Door dent repair. Hi, Don's old garage again. And today it's back on the 240Z. As you know by the last video, the 62 Safari has been sold and gone to a new owner. Uh, the 72 Datsun 240Z that I've owned since it was brand new. I'm fixing it up, little door dings and things like this that have happened in the car since I last restored it. I want to get it all done and sold because I really want to get back on the 33. And to work on the 33, I need to move it out so that it takes up two spaces so I can get in with the lift and remove the engine. I need to remove the engine and work on the bottom end because the engine still isn't free. So anyway, today is working more on the 240 and uh, doing kind of works. And I want to show you some of the stuff, yeah, that I did wrong last year when I was working on it. So that comes up next. Well, this spot will show the problems best of all. If you look down here, you can see that I had a little door ding in here. So I taped it all off and then thought I did fine enough, but you can see I did not because look at all the overspray I got way up into here, which means now I have to wet sand all this area besides smooth this out. And also I have a chip here. And if you notice, there's a little tiny chip here and a chip here. And what happens, I had noticed this before, that when the door closes, if you listen, well, I guess you can't hear it, but it scrapes here and here, and that's what's caused those chips. But this spot up here really shows you the problems I made when I worked last year. You can see here was the tape marks. Here's where I painted my layers of primer and stuff. And you can see it left these also tape marks of, of extra thick paint. I've been working on this already, beginning to sand this down. It's quite a bit of work, but, you know, I'll get there. I'll get it done. But uh, I caused myself a lot more work last year than I really wanted to. And if you look down the side of the car here, you'll see a couple of other places where I had door ding problems. See, there's one there and there's one down there that show the same kind of thing I'm gonna have to work on. Okay, now we're on the other side of the car. And if I go down here, you look on the edge of the fender. Here's one place I've been working on. I think I need to zoom out a little bit more. That's too close. Yeah, that's better to see. There we go. Spot I've been working on the fender, and it was the same thing. You know, I had paint marks around here, and I've been smoothing it out, blending it in. Right now, I can run my finger across here, and I can't feel any highs and lows. Maybe a little bit here, so a little more sanding here. So I just keep working that till it's smooth in. You look down at this edge, you can see this was where there was a big ding. You can see the patch and it's pretty much all sanded out. Maybe a little more work on here, but that's pretty close. Up here on this corner by the light, here's one that had the same thing, but I've really worked this one out. Now I can run my hand over there. I can't feel a single thing. And I've got all the overspray off and everything else. So I'm gonna have to come back with a little uh, more shot of primer and work up to get the final bait. But when I work on these now, once I get everything sanded out, I'm just going to use my um, I'm going to use my airbrush so I can work in very small detail work. It'll take me a little bit of time, but I think the final results will be smoother. So anyway, that's the kind of thing that I've been doing. You can see this side now. You can look down this side because I've got things pretty much smoothed out. Uh, you can't see any of the door dings at this point you know, except the ones I'm still working on. So that gives you an idea what I'm working with on my Z car and uh, working to get it as cleaned up and presentable as I can. So I'll show you me working and then we'll... Okay, as you're sanding, what you're looking for is a situation like this. Notice how since the other picture that the yellow's back here and the gray's here, and you want to feather these out. Now, I have a nice little sander here that works pretty well because I can just work on the edge I want to work on. And you can see as I start to take off the that yellow-green layer that I put on there and work my way down to the gray layer, 
I'm starting to actually feather the paint out from one layer to the next. What I'm after is when I wipe it off, I can run my finger across here, like right there, see, and I don't feel any transition in between those colors. So one blends out and the other. I need to work on this end down here and do the same thing. <clears throat> I use a rag so I can kind of look at it every once in a while and see what my progress is. Now, see, this end, I haven't worked on that much down here next to this emblem. And so it's going to take a little more work. Oh, it's starting to feather now. You can see it's starting to feather. See the transition between the different colors? That's what we call feathering. And the original door ding was right here and where that door ding was i i first treated it and i filled it with a little filler you see and then paint did these paints so that i get i'm gonna get this primer off here I get it pretty good. I need a little more sand here because I feel a slight edge. Your fingers are extremely sensitive. Like here, this is just as smooth as it can be. I can feel no transition between those colors. But right here, I still feel a little transition. So I want to work, I mean a little bump. So I want to work on blending this side in a little bit more till it gets to the point where I can't feel any variation in the height of the surface. And you can see a couple other things based on the color of the primer. There were obviously a couple of other tiny dings, one here and one here, that have been filled up with the layers of primer. Oh, that's really nice right now. So I can come back with my uh, airbrush. And the next time with airbrush, I'll put another layer of primer over all of this, see what it looks like and sand it down till eventually I can get a layer of primer that's nice and smooth. And then I'll come back and try the color over it. So if some of you have never done this kind of work before and you're considering doing it, uh, the main thing, like see here, I'm see how I'm pushing away from the paint area, pushing away like this, okay. That will really help, let's get the rag, that will really help feather this edge so it's absolutely smooth. Anyway, I wanted to give you some kind of clues of what I'm doing here and how you might work on an area that you're trying to patch a little door ding and something in, in your vehicle. Please subscribe and ring the bell and thanks for my new subscriber.